Hey YouTube, what's up guys, it's Charlie. Um, today a quick video, I'm going to show you guys how to get your Dexcom G6 app um, to work on your newer Android device. Um, for the iPhone, I don't have to show about it, but I know for this one. On this one here, um, this is my S10 Plus and I cannot get it to work on this. It's, it won't log in, it gives me an error message. It says that comp I'm compatible on the Note 10 Plus, which is a new, which is newer and it's running Android 10. You can see it's working almost perfect here. Um, here's the machine, here's the receiver right there. So everything is working in power with each other. So that's pretty good. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get it on, on, on your newer Android device. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, we have the Dexcon app right there. We're gonna uninstall that one. Take it out completely so it's gone. And we're gonna go to we're gonna go to Google and we're gonna go with build your own Dexcon app. And when you search for it, it's gonna bring it up. You're gonna search for it. It's gonna bring it up, build your own app. It's from Reddit. And we have really have to thank that guy for, for doing that app right there. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I leave that link for you guys down below. And remember you're doing it as your, at your own risk. So we're gonna look for the, um, the update version, build your own Dexcon app. We're gonna click on that. And I will leave this part right here where I found this down below for you guys. So you guys can probably just go and, and, and um, click on there. You're going to put in your email address. Put in my email address. I'm going to click agree. And I'm going to go with the G6 international version. Click next. And it's going to start asking you some questions on there. And which unit do you prefer? I'm going to go with MG and click next customize normally what I do is I just go with default on this and do you want to remove compatibility check and blah 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 all that stuff you click yes um, here again every 15 minutes click check here default I'm gonna click just I just do default on all of them no you can just read those things there and just figure out if you want it or not would you like to reduce one up to 10 minutes and default is no so i'm gonna say no and i think on the last one i said yes so that's why it gave me a false um it gave me 10 minutes but it usually take two hours anyway so and you can send a copy to your response and you're going to submit and it's going to send the the dropbox link to your email address so you're going to go to your email go to your email you're going to click on your custom app and you're going to say it's ready and you're gonna download it. It said the file is already exists, but you remember it's an APK, you're gonna download it, and it's gonna tell you it's gonna harm your device and stuff, you're gonna click OK. And if you swipe down, you'll see that it's uploading, it's downloading up there. Here, tap on that. You want to install application, you click install. And just start it just start installing the application. Um, if it doesn't, um, if your if your phone is not set up to download unknown sources, it will ask you, or you're gonna go into your settings and you're gonna do that. You know you can open and you're gonna get the app and it ask you let's get started. And then you go on from there and you're gonna type that out and put in your Put in your login information and your password. If you haven't got one, then you have to create one. And there we go. And we're in. Agree to the terms. And you're just going to through and just click next, next. I want this. And you want to import settings. So this app will just do whatever the, um, the other real app will do. Click next, next, next. Lots of next. Enter code, so you're gonna have to enter the code. So you go again to your, the same way like you would enter the code onto your your receiver, and you're gonna enter the code. Enter manually. On confirm. Did you put it on? Yes, it's on. Did you understand Bluetooth? All that stuff. Bluetooth is on. Access your device all the time. And it's gonna ask you for your transmitter number. Enter manually. 
switching for the transmitter mixer it six minutes away and this might take up to 30 minutes it's set to do but hope but most time it goes faster than that um dexcom the g6 dexcom app running on on the newer android devices with the latest android versions guys that's how you do it all videos that i make on the dexcom product i will leave in a playlist i'll leave everything down for you guys down below i'll also leave the information about that app right away to get it again do this at your own risk there's nothing wrong in doing it but do that your own risk this is charlie like and subscribe i'm out